check this out. The Americas is Granada, Israel, the promised land. All of these are biblical place names in Utah, including Jerusalem. Utah's nickname is the Beehive State. There is a mountain in eastern Nevada named Mount Moriah, and it is over 12,000 feet high. In Utah, not only is there a River Jordan, but it runs out of a freshwater lake into the Great Salt Lake, which is remarkably like the Dead Sea. There is also a Mount Nebo in Utah, approximately 12,000 feet high. So yes, with evidence this strong, the real Judah was in Utah. People try to say that it was the Mormons that gave these places like Utah biblical names to support their position as Jews. However, this explanation fails miserably because there are no 12,000 feet high mountains in modern day Israel. Therefore, the real Judah or Israel had to be in Utah because it fits the description of the kingdom of Judah perfectly. The name Utah is derived from the name of the Ute tribe. It means the people of the mountains in the Ute language. According to other sources, Utah is derived from the Apache name Yuda, which means tall. In the so-called Spanish language, it was said as Utah. Subsequently, the English speaking people adapted the word Utah. There is no J in Hebrew. Therefore, Judah is Judah, especially when you consider the fact that the J and Y have the same meaning and numerical value and are interchangeable as a result. Manasseh, Mount Nebo, Mount Pisgah, Jericho, South Galilee, Ephraim, Daniel, Naphi, Moab, Eden, Goshen, Jordan. Come on, man. Part two coming soon.